So in the previous video, I mentioned a little bit about the new online plate solver that is integrated into Tyco. It's very fast because it does not have to upload the image data. So instead, what it does is extract the star positions, and this results in a very small, only a few kilobytes of data that have to be transferred. So it works well 99% of the time. Most users have no issue. Uh, but there are a few scenarios, a few situations in which you may have to alter uh, or change the default settings. So I'm going to provide one of those examples here. So if I take a look at this image, uh, you'll notice it has dimensions 45, 41 by 34, 33. So this is a larger image. And if I zoom in a bit, uh, you can see all the stars in the field. So it is a larger image. And if we try to plate solve it with the default settings, then it will actually time out, or at least it will certainly take a lot longer uh, to plate solve than otherwise. As you can see, it has extracted a little over 6,400 uh, sources or star positions. And it was very quick to upload that, uh, but now it's trying to solve the image. And as you can see, it's still in progress and Again, this could take uh, past the expiration time. So if I go ahead and give it just a couple more iterations here, you'll, you'll see uh, again that it will take uh, a fair amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and abort that. And instead, I will try to solve it with a downsample factor of four. So this is the main uh, control that you might adjust. So again, the default of two is usually ideal that's why it says two is usually best but sometimes for some images uh, especially these larger ones you might choose a down sample of four uh, just to to try that out and plate scale normally this uh, you can leave that as a default unless you happen to know that you are vastly oversampled in which case you might choose a, a smaller plate scale lower bound uh, or if you are uh, vastly undersampled, in which case you would choose a higher upper bound. So you would be familiar with that with your uh, telescope and camera combination. So that's entirely up to you what you choose here. But as far as downsample factor, this is somewhat dependent upon uh, the size of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and click start. And again, it has already uh, extracted the sources. It's got about 1500 of them this time. So we'll go ahead and give that a moment. And it's, let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, a solution has been found. So that, and it's already finished. So that's a lot faster than the previous attempt with down sample of two. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if the solution is desirable. So this is, uh, all of the stars appear to be within the blue boxes. So that's a good sign. And so this is a good solution. And again, that was very quick. So again, we did not have to upload 29 megabytes of data. This is uh, th this image file, just the single image, uh, is 29 megabytes on the disk. So uh, it, it would be a slow process if we had to upload that. Uh, but fortunately, it's able to simply extract all the star positions, and that's just a few kilobytes, and it's very quick as a result. So the key here is to choose the appropriate downsample factor.